Let's take a look at the speed questions. Now you can use a calculator for all of them, which is good news. And the most important thing is remembering that speed is the distance divided by time. So 100 divided by 50, that is two. And because the distance is meters and the time is seconds, therefore the unit for speed is meters per second. 1000 divided by 125 is eight meters per second. 20 divided by one is obviously 20, so that's 20 kilometers per hour. 35 divided by half, so here you're gonna type in 0 0.5, that works out as 70 kilometers per hour. Some of you might not like that answer because you're thinking, hang on, I'm dividing and the numbers got bigger. Well, that's what happens when you divide by a number that is less than one. And for E, 504 divided by 16, that comes to a total of 31.5, and again, that's meters per second. 27 divided by 4.5, that is six meters per second. 130 divided by 520 is 0 0.25 meters per second. 600 divided by 20 is 30, and that's miles per hour. 45 divided by 1.5, that is 30 miles per hour. And finally, 100 divided by two and a half, so on the calculator that is gonna to have to be 2.5, that works out as 40 miles per hour. So question number two, again, we need to remember that speed is the distance divided by time. The distance between Harrogate and York is 22. And the speed is, well, we know the journey takes, uh, sorry, not the speed, the time rather. Uh, the time is 40 minutes. So I'm gonna do 22 divided by 40. But because this is minutes, my speed is gonna be miles per minute. And that works out as 0 0.55 miles per minute, which is a bit of an unusual speed so what I'm going to do now is multiply that by 60 otherwise I'd need to convert 40 minutes into a fraction of an hour which could be problematic for some people and 0 0.55 times 60 that comes to 33 miles per hour the speed of travel between York and Leeds well it's 20 miles and it takes 20 minutes so 20 divided by 20 comes to a total of one mile Per minute. So all I need to do is multiply that by 60 and that will turn that into 60 miles per hour. And for question C, the average speed of the entire journey, again the total distance is 42. The journey time goes from 9.30 until um, 11, so that's one and a half hours. So if I just divide 42 by the time of 1.5, since this is in hours my speed is now going to be in miles per hour and that works out as 28 miles per hour. So we know that speed is the distance divided by time and if we just move the formula around a little bit then speed multiplied by the time is distance. So all we need to do here is multiply these two figures so 2 times 100 is 200 meters, 18 times 1200 that's 21,600 meters 25 times 400 is 10,000 meters. 16 times 256 is 4,096 meters. 1,000 times 3,600 is just 3,600 with three zeros on the end. 22 times two, well that is 44 kilometers. 35 multiplied by three, that is 105 miles. 70 times eight is 560 miles. 12 times 360 is 4,320 meters, and 110 times six, that is 660 kilometers. So with all these questions, we need to remember the formula, speed is distance divided by time. So we know that um, Cadiz to Barcelona is 1,109 kilometers. So can it be done in 10 hours? Well, if speed is distance divided by time, Time is the distance divided by the speed. So 1109 divided by the speed. Let's assume we have to go at the maximum speed on the motorway, which is 110 kilometers per hour. And that comes to 10.08 hours, which is slightly more than 10 hours. So no, that is not possible. Uh, Madrid is 647 kilometers from Cadiz and 626 from Barcelona. So how much further is it from Cadiz to Barcelona via Madrid? So 647 plus 626, that comes to 
273 compared to 1109 and the difference between them just subtract one from the other that is a difference of 164 kilometers so we told that the speed limit is 110 kilometers per hour on all motorways so can you do, uh, drive from Cadiz to Madrid in six hours uh, well Cadiz to Madrid is 647 so we're going to do 647 divided by so what we're doing again working out the time so distance divided by speed again we're assuming we're going to do the maximum motorway speed and 647 divided by 110 comes to 5.88 hours which is less than six hours so yes it's possible is it possible to drive from Madrid to Barcelona well Madrid to Barcelona that is 626 so 626 divided by the maximum speed limit of 110 that comes to 5.69 so yes that's possible because that is within the six hours and can you drive from Cadiz to Barcelona via Madrid in 11 hours so we know that it's a distance of uh, 1273 which we worked out in part b there and again if we just divide that by the maximum speed limit that works out as 11.57 hours which is longer than 11 hours so the answer to that question is therefore no for question number five we need to work out the time taken well we know that speed is distance divided by time and we can just swap the s and the d around so time is the distance divided by speed so in 5a it's 100 the distance divided by the speed of 2 which is 50 uh, because the distance is meters and the time is meters per second therefore the time is going to be in seconds we're going to do the same thing for b 37,000 divided by 37 and that's 1000 and again that's seconds for C, again, it's distance divided by speed, 350 divided by 14, that's 25 seconds. 504 divided by 21, that is 24 seconds. And for E, 50,400 divided by 24, that's 2,100 seconds. Again, once you've done the first one, you're, you can do them all as it's the same thing. Okay, let's take a look at F again. Let's just have a quick recap. So speed is distance divided by time and we can flip these around. So time is the distance divided by speed. So distance 650 kilometers divided by the speed 26 is 25. Since the distance is kilometers and the speed is kilometers per hour, then the time is gonna be in hours as well. So that's 25 hours. For G, 262,144 divided by 31.26 that uh, comes to 8388.608 and in here the time is going to be seconds for H 608 divided by 19 that's 32 and the time is going to be hours for I 76.8 divided by 30 that's 2.56 and again the time is hours and the final question 90 divided by 45 is 2 and again that is hours so Aberdeen to Penzance is the longest direct train in the UK the first leg is a distance of 93 and the speed is 80 miles an hour so how long does it take so speed is distance divided by time flip these two around time is the distance divided by speed so 93 divided by 80 so that comes to 1.1625 hours again in part two we need time so time is the distance which is 210 divided by 120 and that comes to a total of 1.75 hours again it's another time question so distance divided by speed so distance 210 divided by 100 that works out as 2.1 hours and for 6d again another time one so the distance which is 320 divided by the average speed of 80 32 divided by 80 is 4 hours so how long does the journey take overall well all we need to do is simply add up all the individual legs together and that comes to a total of 9.0125 hours 
So question number seven, we're looking at a cycling challenge from Land's End to John O'Groats. So we know that Robert takes 38 days and he cycles 23 per day. So what is the total distance? Well, speed is distance divided by time. So speed multiplied by the time is the distance. So 23 times 38 comes to a total of 874 miles. Ellie intends to cycle the challenge and thinks she can cycle 46 miles per day. So how many days will she need? So here we need to work out time. If speed is distance over time, in this formula, you can just swap the S and the T. So time is distance divided by speed. So the distance is the 874 miles divided uh, by her speed of 46 miles per day. And that comes to a total of 19 days. Part C is exactly the same as part B, except we're just, instead of dividing by 46, we're dividing by 38. And 874 divided by 38 works out as 23 days. In part D, we know that Tilda is cycling at an average of nine and a half miles per hour for 11.5 hours. So with this information, we've got a speed and we've got a time so we can work out the distance she covers in a day. So the distance is the speed times the time. So that's going to be 9.5 multiplied by 11.5 hours. So that means in a day, she'll complete 109.25 miles per day. So does she break the record? Well, the record is nine days. So how long is it going to take her at this speed here? So if we're working out the time, time is the distance divided by speed. So that is going to be the 874 divided by 109.25. So this calculation is exactly the same as B and C. 874 divided by 109.25. That works out as eight days. So yes, she breaks the record by a day.